Good morning, everybody. So happy Friday. It's a little bit of a gloomy day here in Southern California. We're going to be installing a turbo actuator. Well, turbo is already installed. We have to calibrate it. I'm going to show you the process really quick. Turbo is already mounted. There's a few things you're going to need to do this. Obviously, you're going to need your software. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. So this is the actuator. We are going to go with the old one. I don't believe anything's wrong with it. I did show you guys in the video. If not, I will kind of edit this in there so that the video will show that the turbo is no good. Hey guys, really quick. So the customer was saying, hey, I got white smoke and the truck had a lot of white smoke. I don't know if I have a video on that or I recorded it. However, what I'm showing you guys on this turbo, okay, this is on a Cummins ISL9. You're gonna have a lot of similarities with other Cummins engines. So just to give you a general idea, again, this little sweeping door, look how hard that is. That's really, should be a nice clean sweep however one other thing i noticed the turbine in the rear okay this is what's kind of going down towards your exhaust that wheel is done i mean you can't even move it look at that so this turbo was about to grenade if it wasn't caught on time and that gets very bad very expensive because now all this oil is going to start going out towards the dpf doc and then you're really screwed because you got to buy everything. It should be nice and smooth like this. Look at this propeller. Look at that. Nice, clean. Can't even move this thing. So this thing was literally going to grenade and take a shit and take everything with it. So guys, a few things to look for. Sweeping door, propeller on this side. There's also one on the inlet or cool side right in there. So look at that. Oh, you can't even see it. But... Check that out. That thing seized up. So this turbo was definitely gonna go and take everything with it. This is our actuator. It is not calibrated to the new turbo. So you will need your software. This is what comes with the turbo itself. You're obviously gonna get a turbo. You're gonna get your new hardware to go with it. You're gonna get some little studs to install it. You're gonna come with a little alignment tool, just simply a little pin. However, if you don't have this, if you look inside here, and you look just right over here, you're gonna see that little hole, okay? So this little pin, you're gonna put that right there, sweep it carefully, and that's it. The pin's gonna drop and you're in, you're locked in, okay? Now the next part, you just leave that there, it's not gonna go anywhere. You do have these little guides or studs that come included with your kit, okay? You don't really need this, but, you know, again, let's just for the sake of the video, for the sake of what we got going on here, we're going to install that one there. And that's just so the actuator literally will slide right on over and mate here. So this is the little part of the turbo. I call it the claw. That's going to meet up, meet up with this little wheel that's right in there. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Hopefully that works out for you guys. And again, it just simply should allow you to drop this in without this moving here. This obviously needs to be removed before you even try to install it. Do not install it with this little pin. This is simply to make sure that you are aligned, okay? So let me get everything else going and I'll show you guys how to do this. Very, very simple. So we have power, we should have power set up here. Let me make sure we got everything else we need. Where the hell did I leave the key? Eh, fuck, who knows? Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and connect our software. We're gonna launch our Cummins Insight, which is gonna be this little bad boy right here. You're gonna need the software again to make all this happen. So while that connects, connects to the truck, uh, I'll show you guys what we do and what we need to get done. Pretty, pretty simple, pr very easy procedure. You have to do this procedure in order to make everything work together, okay? I've heard some guys say, oh, you can just simply disconnect the batteries, put it all together, blah, 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 and it works. I call bullshit on that. It may have worked for one guy somewhere down the line and they kind of spread that around. I don't recommend it. Uh, simply just use the software and get it all done. So let me make sure I have everything I need and uh, we'll go from there. So first thing first, you're gonna insert your key. You are going to have codes and of course, batteries are dead. It ain't gonna work. So let's charge up the batteries and we'll be back. All right guys, so we finally have enough uh, battery juice or juice in the batteries to kind of do this little test or this calibration that we're gonna to need to do. We don't have enough power to start the truck, which is fine, because we're not gonna start it right now. So what you wanna do, of course, as I mentioned, you have everything aligned on the turbo. You do not have the actuator installed, but you do have it connected. 
Okay, you're gonna open up your Cummins Insight. Uh, hold on guys, I'm trying to get you guys the fast angle, but this glare is just kind of messing things up here. Uh, hopefully that helps you guys out. Probably not the best shot, but we have to make do with what we got. So we're gonna create an image. I like creating an image because it does let you go back and review things in case you miss something or in case you wanna show the customer or something. So it creates a quick image, doesn't take very long. Basically it's just a record or a file or a screenshot, whatever you wanna call it. Once it does that, it takes a few seconds, you're gonna to want to go over to your advanced ECM data, right over there to the left. You're gonna get a new screen that pops, oh, I'm sorry, wrong, 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 wrong. You're gonna go over to ECM diagnostic test. Sorry guys, it's been a minute since I've done this. You're gonna to wanna to go down to the bottom, second to the bottom where it says VGT, Electronic Actuator Installation and Calibration, okay? Click on Next. The very next thing it's gonna tell you, this is a this is not a functional test, this is a installation calibration test. Two very different things, so click on OK. The very first thing you're gonna do is drop down and go to Install Actuator, even though you're not installing it, and it's gonna show you something here. The VGT actuator must be removed before this process begins. Click on OK. On the bottom right, over here, you're gonna click on Start. Click on OK again. And let's see what it does. Boom, test pass, which means the VGT is good. So now what you're gonna to wanna to do is come over to the other side, okay? And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and mount the actuator. Again, the actuator's been connected, but it's not installed. We have our guides, this has still been aligned. Chao, me pasa los... los uh, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and present everything here. Hopefully I can kind of get a decent shot or mount this camera. Sorry guys, I didn't plan this shit out very well. I started late, thank you. All right, I'm gonna try and do it one-handed. So all you're gonna do, very, very simple, or at least for me it is, is you're gonna mount this right over the top, okay? You're gonna present it. It should drop right over. You may have to wiggle just a little bit. Hold on, let's get this out of the way. There we go. And again, you don't need the guides. I've installed it without the guides, but for the sake of this little video. Okay, this fitting has to get the f out of the way. Sorry guys, we put that there. Sorry for the language, but this is not gonna let it drop down. Um, so let me put the camera down and remove this and we'll go from there. And we're back. All right, so take that fitting out of the way. This line is gonna move out of the way and your actuator should literally slide right over just like so, okay? That's pretty much it. Hold on, I don't really like the way that's seating. There we go, now it's seated on there properly. Sometimes you do gotta give it a little bit of a wiggle. Sorry guys, that's the uh, Ford lot across the, across the way. The employees love hauling ass out of there. So you do have your two seals, make sure those are on there. They come with the turbo itself. One here, one there. Next thing you wanna do is get your hardware, which is provided, which is for the very, very low price of almost $5,000 for this turbo. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, these turbos have gone up extremely, extremely. I don't understand what the hell's going on with Cummins and Packard and all that bullshit, because I think it's just ridiculous to charge for a turbo by itself, almost 5,000 bucks, plus the actuator, which puts you pretty much in the ballpark of about $6,000 or 6,500 bucks, plus labor and all the other shit associated with this job. Um, you know, just me venting. Anyway, so you're gonna go ahead and take out your guides. We don't need these anymore, okay? They never provided these before, but we'll save these just in case. Again, nice little guides. Take them both out. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten everything down. So we get our little bolts. Run that in there with your fingers. Make sure you don't cross the threads. The last thing you wanna do is do that and really be in the world of hurt. Same thing, you're gonna do that over here on this end. And then once we do that, get it all nice and secure, snug, torque down, all that good stuff there. What you're gonna to want to do, very, very simple, is perform the rest of the procedure, and I'm gonna show you that right now. So I'm gonna put the camera down, I'm gonna tighten this down, torque it all down, whatever you wanna call it, and uh, we will go from there. Actuator, mount it on the turbo. We're gonna go ahead and install all the accessories, but right now let's show you guys what you came to see, which again is gonna be the final calibration or installation process. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Everybody say hi to Chavo. Chavo. Saludos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So that's Chavo. He's finishing up putting all the accessories and buttoning this shit up. So the very next step you're going to need to do, and you have to follow this procedure, you're going to want to go to where it says the drop-down menu. 
tap on that calibrate actuator okay it's going to give you another warning actuator must be mounted click on ok click on start down here in the bottom it is a pass or fail and it's reminding you again it must be mounted click on ok and it should be a pass or fail it says running 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 you're going to see that there and let's see guys hopefully there we go boom all done actuators calibrated actuators installed all calibrated together and that's it it's a very very simple procedure at this point we're almost ready to go we have to just finish everything up as far as the accessories the water the coolant uh, a few things i want to give you guys a heads up on when you're replacing your turbo highly highly recommended replace your motor oil so dump that motor oil put new motor oil in there obviously a new engine oil filter and the reason you want to do that is because if there's ever an issue with warranty with turbo and these guys get very very particular on the way they do things you're going to want to replace those things okay and again we don't know the life or the history behind this oil how old it is but either way we're not taking any chances we're going to replace all that so that's pretty much it guys if you have any questions as always hit me up hope this video helps you out the procedure itself is the same whether it's an isl 9 like this or a px9 as they call it or an isx or an x15 it's very very similar you may have some differences but that's pretty much it guys if you like the video again i ask a few things just like subscribe give it a thumbs up have yourself a great day